What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I've got with me the brand new Monoprice CNC machine. Now I'm familiar with Monoprice, all the products, and then they also make a whole line of 3D printers. So this is a new category for Monoprice to get into. And I thought I'd check it out. Now I've got a couple of pieces of wood here, just some light balsa wood. And then I don't even know what this is, but this is from like an old bed frame or something like that. So I thought I'd recycle this rather than throwing it out. And I should be able to get some decent cuts with both of these. Now I did read that balsa wood just because it's so light, you do get a lot of fibers that kind of come up, so hopefully I should be able to adjust the RPM and get a nice clean cut. Also with that, I do have some measuring tools just to make sure that I measure the size and the thickness of the wood itself. So this is gonna be a quick unboxing, quick build video, and then I'll go ahead and demonstrate a quick cut. I've also got a candle downloaded on my gaming PC as well to connect to this and I've created some artwork as well that I'll show you in a second. Now because this is a new category for me, I've never really used any type of machine like this. I probably should start basic, like with maybe a name or a typeface or something like that. But I'm gonna swing for the fence here and I'm actually gonna cut out a Nissan R34 Skyline. So we'll see how that comes out. So let's go ahead and get right into this unboxing and see what we're dealing with in this box. Quick little blade here. Of course, you don't want to go too thick uh, into this box just to make sure you don't accidentally cut something. Everything else is packed very well. A lot of packaging. We do get a full user manual. That's going to come in handy because I have no idea what I'm doing here. And let's just start taking things out of the packaging here. Comes with some zip ties for wire management. This is your computer module right there. Get a full power brick, set of guide rails, and a threaded rail as well. So the main structure of it comes pre-assembled, as you can see there. And you get a whole bag of your wiring harnesses, and it looks like this comes with 10 uh, cutting blades. I believe this is just the single cutting blade for stuff like wood and plastic and things like that. If you want to cut metal, um, brass, aluminum, you're going to need to invest in a different bit. There's the main motor assembly, already pre-installed, pre-assembled. The threaded rod, and then we get a bag of Allen screws, springs, and uh, other hardware as well. Even get a set of tools, which is really cool. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into the assembly here. Now I'm going to be facing everything towards the front of myself. So this side is actually the front. You're looking at the back, and I'll do my best to turn things around so you guys can get a better view when needed. Want to pop this inverted like this. Red and sides. And right below that one is the y-axis. And you do want to make sure that all of your 
screws are tightened properly, otherwise you're going to be dealing with a lot of vibration noise. After you get the threaded piece removed, go ahead and take your milling chuck, drop it right into place, just like that. This goes right over the motor spindle. Start threading it in. Get it inserted. Alright, so now that I have my measurements, I'm just going to go ahead and sandwich this. I'm just using a piece of cardboard just so I don't cut directly into the actual plate itself. All right, I've got my material all tightened down, which was kind of a challenge, so I'm gonna have to make an adjustment to these wing nuts here in the future, but it's in there solid, so now I can start the cutting process. So let's go ahead and position this so you guys can get a good view of what's happening. And all I gotta do is take my power cord and USB cable, connect it up to my PC, and start cutting away. All right, you guys, that's gonna sum it up for me. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. If you're not already, please consider hitting that subscribe button, like and comment as usual, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day.